This may be one of the most helpful techniques for After Effects where we will create our own path to create a custom animation for any object. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunlock Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So this tutorial is gonna cover a very important concept which is gonna allow you to quickly create your own custom animations along your very own path. It's very easy to do and there's a ton of uses for this. So let's go ahead and jump into our tutorial and let's take a look. So I'm gonna show a couple of different ways that we can animate along a path. So we have this you know, circle right here and if we wanna animate this in a circular motion, we have to do it you know, with the position. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. So if you wanna do a circular path, what we can do is grab say the ellipse tool and we can draw out a perfect circle like this. All right, and then we'll go to ellipse one and we can right click on ellipse path one and click on convert to bezier path. We can open up our path and copy the path right here. Just click it and copy it. Go to edit, copy. And then we can just, you know, delete this layer if we want, or we can just hide it, doesn't matter. Then we'll go to our main layer, hit P on our keyboard for position, go to the beginning of the timeline and click on position and paste those keyframes in. So first of all, let's take a look what we have here. And everything's kind of out of order. We want to put this in the center. So first things first, what we can do here is select all of our keyframes and make sure you're on one of the first or last keyframes and just center this up in the middle of our composition. And then what we need to do is hit A on our keyboard for anchor point. And we need to just readjust our object to be at the start of the first keyframe. And now we have a circular animation of our object and that is awesome. And if you actually want, you can actually show the path uh, via a shape layer. So that is really cool. Now let's go move on to something a little bit more practical. So in this comp, I want to create our own custom path with the pen tool so we can do any sort of craziness we want it to do. So you could technically do this on its own layer. So I, here's our rocket layer that I want to animate. And I could just, you know, create a, a mask here to follow. But what I find best is just make sure you do this in a shape layer. And we can just have the stroke activated. And we'll just come here and create our path of what we want our rocket to follow and then we'll go back into our shape layer go in the contents go to shape one open the path one and copy the path and we'll just go ahead and hide this or we can delete it doesn't matter and we'll go into our rocket and we'll hit p on our keyboard for position and paste that path in there and now our rocket will follow that path obviously we have to customize this a little bit remember we have to go to we have to hit a on our keyboard for anchor point and we have to reposition our rocket so now our rocket follows our path and obviously we have a little bit to do here. Now, one thing I want to take a look at here is hit PR and keyboard for position. And since these are rove over time keyframes, we can expand the animation to be even longer than two seconds. So it's going to be a little bit slower and obviously it's following the path. And sometimes when you're working with, you know, some sort of objects like this, you might have to manually animate the rotation. So in our case, I want to be able to hit shift R on our keyboard for rotation, add a keyframe for it. And I'm simply just going to follow this path by animating the rotation. And now we're able to animate our rocket along our own path. And of course, this is a very practical application of being able to animate on your own path. And so I just want to give a quick shout out to one tool that I use extensively when I'm doing animation, and that's called Animation Composer. And it has over 1,000 motion presets, and it comes with its own user interface. And I'll link this in the description. And what I can do here out of these thousand motion presets is I can find a preset that I like and preview the animation before I apply it. For example, I found an animation that I like here and I can click and apply as in or out and it'll automatically apply this in animation for me within a click and I can also apply another animation as an out animation. An animation composer is great if you're working on large form projects that require a lot of animation which help you cut down a tremendous amount of time because there's over 1000 animation presets and pretty much everything that you need just to animate full you know, explainer videos or full After Effects videos does require a lot of unique animation. So if you want to learn more about Animation Composer and how you can save time with these 1000 motion presets, you can check our links in the video description. So now you should be able to easily create your own custom path with inside of After Effects. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also Hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always, be creative.